shit, ladies and gentlemen, how you doing? This is Intergalactic Interviews, episode 96, and I'm here with my co-host, Michael Saavedra. How you doing? Yalu! And I'm also here with the guy who runs our boards every fucking week, he's the man, Chris Martin, a.k.a. C. Mart. And uh, our guests are illustrious, but before we get to them, let's go ahead and let you know about an excellent opportunity. Right now, if you go to floathouse.ca, floathouse.ca, you can go and see the premier isolation tank experience in the Lower Mainland, and now expanding throughout Western Canada. Hello, hello, hooray. Oh, cool. Now that being said, if you want to check it out and you're like, what the fuck is a float? How do I take advantage of this? How does it pertain to my life? Well, that's a great those are, those are all great questions. But the only answer is you got to go to floathouse.ca, look at the information, and get yourself educated. Right. We float. You should float. Let's all float. Use our Float House podcast promo code IIPODCAST. That'll get you 20% off. That's just the start. Then you get involved. Yeah, see what you can do when you get in there. That's all. <laughs> That's what I'd say. I don't know. Look, that being said, go to floathouse.ca. Again, we float. You should float. Try it out. You'll love it. It's a spa for your mind. Okay, now that being said, mm. let's go on to our amazing guest. First, to the seat to my immediate front, mm. right here, we have the beautiful Billy Suede. Beautiful baby. Oh, yes, <laughs> sir. And uh, currently, we have here sitting, uh, let's see, I'm trying to think of an alliteration that makes sense. The, uh, how about the electric L Phantasmo? <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Beautiful Billy Suede. Hi. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Is that a... Is that I thought fun? it was beautiful for years, and then I was like, it's brilliant. Yeah, I it's... was brilliant, but then now I'm more beautiful than brilliant. Oh, did you switch it? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, last last winter, winter time. Is it, uh, it, it's brilliant? It used to be brilliant, yeah. It used to be brilliant, yeah. but now it's beautiful. It's, be it's beautiful, baby. So I was yeah. right, and I wasn't God wrong. Damn. Yeah, yeah, huh. yeah. Yeah. Nice. I'm glad, uh, yeah, glad I, glad I didn't fuck that up. That's good. Right. <laughs> no, no, you're good, you're good, you're good. I would have corrected you I mean, he's you beautiful anyways. and brilliant anyways. Yeah. So yeah. Not wrong anyways. Yeah. Fucking but, race. Right. Um, how's it going, guys? Appreciate you guys being on the show. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks for yeah, having us. We're excited to, uh, to be here. We're talking uh, very excitedly about uh, upcoming things happening, obviously, in ECCW, uh, the upcoming ballroom brawl card. We've been excited for it since uh, the last one, basically, which we've covered uh, pretty extensively on here. Um, Pretty awesome. Maybe we should just run down the card real quick here, see what's going on. Uh, let's talk. <laughs> let's talk about relevant matches first. Uh, let's go. Let's start with LP. Got the title in the background here. Yeah, the what? one that I won at the last ballroom brawl. That's right. I, uh, I've managed to hang on to it until the next one, which is uh, is pretty sweet. Pretty amazing feat, all things considered. Yeah, yeah, and uh, it was a it was a pretty big question of who's going to go up against LP at the Commodore. I've kind of run through everybody around here. Uh, so they podied up, and uh, they're bringing in Lucha Underground's Brian Cage Ooh, to fight oh. me on a big stage. That's yeah. awesome. Which is uh, it's probably the biggest opponent that I've wrestled. Literally. Literally yeah. biggest. <laughs> Literally the biggest. Well, like, Dude is huge. What's the, what's the <laughs> tail of the tape on uh, Mr. Cage? I think he's like a shoot 275 or something like that. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Like He's Boy. like 100 pounds of pure muscle. Above what I have, it's, and you know, I'm not, I'm stunning. not big, but I'm not small. But like that guy is gonna dwarf me. He, yeah. he, man, uh, let's let's see. It's crazy when I first saw that uh, that Cage was being booked uh, to face you, um, because obviously being part of uh, LU, Lucha Underground, um, very very popular, obviously right now in the indie scene. Um, yeah. Just ridiculous. I I, I was. Very excited when I first saw he was going to be uh, booked against you, but then um, I was trying to think about that this thing I keep seeing online associated with him, where uh, certain certain fans, not all crowds, but certain crowds, will clap the Terminator theme to his entrance. <laughs> Have you seen wow. this? I would love that. <laughs> I hope people will watch this and hear what the fuck I'm saying and just, just see if you can sort it out because it's, uh, I don't know, it's kind of a cool effect. I was actually wondering what, he, what kind of music he's going to come out to because I, 
I don't know what he comes out to Lucha on the ground. I don't think I'm going to be able to use that. And PWG doesn't show entrances. That's right. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, man, if he comes out through the T2 soundtrack, that'd be awesome. <laughs> that would be right. Right. Just Sweet. floating that idea out there yeah. right now. If yeah. it, uh, like, I'm going to tell Paige to make that happen. Yeah. Like, we're fucking giving them the T2 theme. <laughs> that'd be sweet, man. Yeah. Yeah, just you know, little uh, little tastemaker note there if you guys are out there listening. That'd be yeah. great. But uh, yeah, we're super excited. Um, what other matches are we excited for out here, Michael? Um, excited. You're you're wrestling. Nicole, right? Is yeah, that, that yeah. Bro? Nicole Matthews, uh, you know. Oh, it's yeah, gonna be a good one. It's gonna be good. You know, I like uh, you know putting a putting a pounty. No. Yeah. <laughs> whoa, whoa, geez, whoa, 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 I, uh, <laughs> no, sweet. Jesus yeah, Christ, yeah. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. I think we're kicking the show off. So awesome. Uh, yeah, the old uh, curtain jerker, aka the uh, opening match, is always uh, one of my favorites. What a stacked like card, that. though. That yeah. if that's the that that's the curtain jerker, that's crazy. Yeah, that's it should be, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, she's a tough cookie. So, uh, but uh, you know. I can be a lot, of, a lot of hair, you know, flowing and all that kind of stuff <laughs> in the in the ring. So it'd be good. Yeah. Yeah, I, excited uh, for... I'm excited to see uh, um, how that one will go. Have you and Nicole worked? Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We worked a couple times uh, before. Uh, done a couple, did, done a couple of dance routines here and there, <laughs> and uh, you know, uh, she has, yeah, you know, she's got some nice hair. But uh, you know, I think it's pretty much. I, I don't think even think it's gonna be a wrestling match. I'm gonna just go out there. And show her up on the on the hair tip. You That's know, right. Yeah, I'm gonna show her some tips and stuff like that. And what kind of product yeah. are you use in that hair? Are you oh, it's, no, it's straight coconut oil. Straight, straight, coconut. straight coconut. Oh, look at this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you get you get to a certain length, and you know, you gotta t- start taking care of it. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. What, what do you think she uses? I don't know. I don't, I don't care what she uses. You know, what I mean? like some like pr- pretty much probably some like shoppers drug mart. That's probably <laughs> not, yeah. not gonna be yeah. like superstore. Yeah. Whatever's on sale. Yeah. Damn. Now, probably so. She's got some herbal essence. You know, yeah. like yeah, maybe probably somewhere. probably chooses it by the color of the bottle, not what really what <laughs> flavor it is. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, yeah. She got some good smelling shit in her bathtub. That's <laughs> sure. Yeah. Yeah. But Damn, the, yeah, shots no, fired! Jesus Christ! Yeah. No, we worked we worked uh, together before, and uh, it's great. She's uh, she's great to, in the ring. She's like she, she's killing it down in the states, down in Shimmer. That's right. Yeah. Right now, uh, I, th- I think she's got a T-shirt out that says uh, like Shimmer Taker. Shimmer Taker, which is <laughs> pretty pretty cool. You know, <laughs> if I say so myself. So yeah, when uh, I saw that, I was like, that totally fits. Yeah, exactly. Shimmer right. Taker. You know, young bucks are doing like the indie Taker and mm-hmm. stuff. It's yeah. just the whole like, <laughs> it's not giving a shit, and it totally fits her. So yeah. that's awesome. I saw yeah. that too. It was sweet. Uh, speaking of merch, uh, can fans look forward to new pieces of gear at this particular ballroom brawl? That's uh, it's funny you say that because when we're done this, we're gonna go home and uh, finish up. Yeah, yeah. Polish off some ideas <laughs> that we got going the, on. Uh, so we're not gonna, we're gonna bring out, you know, give away anything. Just so you know, we're all fucking waiting. We all wanna, <laughs> we wanna, we <laughs> wanna good. purchase all of it. It'll be good. We've they, been waiting. We've been. Wa- <laughs> I've been waiting for the Commodore. Just, just specifically the Commodore show because, like, you know. <laughs> You know, reach more people and stuff like that. So, That's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So hopefully, you guys yeah. seem to blow out merchandise like every time you're there. Every like, time. It just like yeah. flies. Like the shirts are yeah, gone, I, but like cause we don't come in like time. early. We show up <clears> almost <throat> right before bell time, and then it's like, yeah, you're too late to get anything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have like a triple XL. Yeah, like, you have more <laughs> fat dudes like trying to like slide into mediums. Because <laughs> <laughs> like, what do you have left? A medium? Or I'll take. It. Yeah. <laughs> that kind yeah. Of like, yeah, that's yeah, merch is crazy. The Commodore, like I've had different shirts for each show now. Cause I I do graphic design on the side and stuff, so I get to make my own merch and like spend hours and hours tweaking it. But like I think I started with thirty for the first show, and then it was the last show. I got like forty five and sold the whole all out. So like this time, I think I'm like fifty, sixty uh, shirts in one go. Wow, It'd be pretty yeah. sweet. Yeah, I, and I, I'm confident. You know, this is again, this is funny. We just promoted. Uh, Friend of the show, Russian Tim had his uh, his radio show Rocket from Russia. Um, we've been, we've all been friends for over a decade. Good good guy, and uh, he just had his show, super success, a couple weeks ago. But while we were promoting it, I was <laughs> saying on on the air, I was like, I kind of don't even know why we're promoting this because I know it's going to be sold out as fuck. So <laughs> it, I'm like, you know, so this is kind of I'm getting weird similar feelings right now. I'm like, you know, I'm confident that this show is going to sell out again. Is it already not sold out? Uh, it's not quite sold out yet. It might be sold out as we say this. Though. It's it could be could whenever be. this comes out. Yeah. It's usually the last couple of weeks is when everyone is like, oh, shit, it's coming out yeah. next weekend. <laughs> like yeah. you get everybody at the beginning like oh the next one's announced buy tickets now mm-hmm. and then they forget about it. But it's not until like 
you start doing the, the last social media push that it's yeah. like, all right, like seven days away, guys. Yeah. Like, yeah. I think we sold out the last January two weeks in advance. But uh, the January is always an easier sell than July just because it's the middle of summer yeah, in Vancouver. It's, and it's crazy, though. It's, it's always crazy, though. Yeah. But just the, the support is wild. I mean, oh, yeah. man, it blows me away every time. I haven't, we haven't missed a single one since nice. the, yeah. Like, cool. actually, Saavedra goes to RCC a lot more. I, I've, only, I've only been to uh, brawl shows. And uh, uh, I, actually, I was going to go to the, uh, the Wise Hall, the one of the last glam uh, yeah, yeah no, those, sure. those are like Mighty. super popular. Those are, those are way fun. The yeah. last yeah. one I missed, yeah. I, apparently, it was like the fucking tits. And yeah. So like, yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean that in like a right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, like literal tits yeah. Yeah. bouncing around. Those were there too. Yeah, yeah those were there in plentiful amounts. Yeah. But I meant like more like the uh, positivity of it. Yeah, it was pretty fucking awesome. Though. I'm super choked I didn't get to see it. Um, but Those that, shows are doing quite well as well. Like it seems like yeah, the, like the Wise Hall shows are also selling out. Like they're no super problem, selling right? out. I yeah. mean, it's you got beer and it's yeah. a sweet location yeah. and that's it's, a good venue for that. Yeah, it's yeah. the the venue's like it's really fair. tall. Like you like go in there compared to the Russian. You're like this venue rules compared mm, yeah. to the smaller venues. Like. Yeah, and then you're getting guys from ECCW, you're getting guys from All Star, you're getting guys like Eric Young and Nelson Creed yeah. had one of the best live That's matches right, I've yeah. ever awesome. seen. Like awesome. to be to be honest, like it was the best match I've ever seen live, like around here watching. I was like, holy shit. Again, there's another another name where we're like 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 Jesus Christ, like ECCW booking like like Eric Young. Like, you know, that's so crazy to see on paper you're just like wow, dude the summer's yeah. stacked like yeah. uh yeah. they got lp and brian cage the commodore and then kenny lush and dalton castle yeah yeah, yeah. 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 we haven't yeah. even scratched that i know Davey boy smith jr he's, he's yeah harry, harry that's yeah. right yeah harry's yeah. coming in for a double shot like yeah. that's good yeah nicole matthews is an international bollywood boys just did yeah. the, uh, that's right yeah thing like they're on shows like Let's talk about that for a second. Um, so, you know, the boys from Bollywood, uh, uh, Bollywood boys, um, with the uh, cruiserweight tournament, um, they they just taped that, right? That's just that just that. Uh, yeah, they yeah I, think it, I think it taped the yeah. first bit of it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, um, first of all, I, I think it's dope. You're rocking Bollywood boys shirt. Oh uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Support yeah. support the homies. Yeah. yeah exactly, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Um, that. That's pretty amazing for them to get the uh, reach out like that after. Um, uh, I'm sorry, the the name's eluding me at the moment, but uh, Jared had that promotion. The Global Force. Global, Global yeah. Force, yeah. Yep. That was last summer when they got the the call for that, and then they it came was, out. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Last summer, yeah. and then yeah. and then they you know they get the straps there, and we're just yeah. like, wow, that's fucking crazy. And yeah. You just you feel like the momentum of it being pushed, and then when this got announced, it, I was like just so happy for them it was so nice yeah. to see dude they're the hardest working guys around here like yeah, there's no really. question why they're there and no one else is yeah their uh their work ethic and their their drive to make it yeah. rivals it's almost like one track man like they've that's they the only thing they've had in their minds like when they were kids man like you know you you, you come across people that are like oh yeah i've always wanted to do this since i was a kid these guys fucking literally wanted to do this Damn. since they were a kid you know and they it's, it's contagious isn't it Oh, absolutely. Oh, for sure. I yeah. mean, you know, everybody's striving to, to get to the top and stuff like that and get to that position, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So everybody's trying to work hard and all that sort of stuff. But uh, it's, and you know, <clears throat> like uh, LP uh, alluded to here, like it's, it's good to support the homies and like it's great just to see, you know, some of our boys out there. Uh, another example, just to get off topic, is Kyle O'Reilly. Yeah. Yeah. Kyle O'Reilly is mm -hmm. killing it in Japan That's like, right, for yeah. a number of years now, you know? I remember I was always over at his place and we we're like watching his like first match on New Japan. Yeah, it was just yeah, like yeah. popping huge. That's right. You know? he, it's his tag group. What's uh, Reed? Red, Red Dragon. Red Dragon. Red Dragon. Yeah. 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 I always read it. Was yeah. Read. Yeah. Read yeah, yeah. Cause the it's the, the way they type it is really weird. I've asked them about it too. I was like, why do you guys yeah, do yeah, that? Like, it's, what's yeah. with the DR? <laughs> like, I don't, when I first yeah. saw them, I, I had asked Vedra, I was like, is this like referencing a dragon or something like yeah. dragon who knows or, I don't think yeah I don't like, know I don't know. <laughs> we ask him we ask him really easily yeah. like, oh, yeah. <laughs> now it's Luke's crazy cool. to see him on like Wrestle Kingdoms and yeah. stuff like that and like in Ring of Honor and now yeah. he's wrestling like for the Ring of Honor title and stuff it's, it's crazy it's brilliant uh, yeah. Yeah. He'll, he'll be in NXT but it's like when his stuff's done in Ring of Honor like no question like yeah no question right yeah but yeah I mean yeah so many good guys out there mm -hmm. this is a matter of when and where yeah. Mm -hmm. And like, yeah, like we love seeing Kyle like 
PWG, yeah. like he's like killing it there too. And like we trained together in Surrey and like Wally, like yeah. like freaking walk past crackheads to go to the yeah. training <laughs> ring and like take a yeah, bunch of bumps at, like every day. Like yeah. That's now crazy. they're like flying around like first class to Japan, yeah. like 60,000 people. Like yeah. that's why we all got in this, right? So mm-hmm. awesome, man. What, what are your plans individually moving forward? You know, that you got a lot on your plate coming up here, obviously, this summer. But, but what, what do you feel in, in your, your hearts and your minds moving forward? What do you, what do you look to? <laughs> Not a well, question. Well, you know, uh, <laughs> like, you know, what we're, I'm always, for me personally, I'm always looking for opportunities here and there, right? Uh, but uh, I, think, I think for, like, the local scene, you know, like, the local scene... We still is we still sort of need to keep that alive, you know. Not that it's not dying or anything like that by by any means, right? But uh, you know, uh, keeping the local scene alive uh, is one of the things. Like you know, it's ground, uh, ground level, right? You know, if people come through here, I mean, they see some good quality uh, wrestling. You know, especially I'm talking about guys like coming like from out of town coming through here. You know, it just it just uh, helps out the community. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I guess the wrestling community. Absolutely. You know, and uh, I think just keeping that alive, and then like you know, you, you never know. Like some kids might be start wrestling here in Vancouver. Like mm-hmm. I mean, Vancouver's huge, right? Absolutely. Like you're you're very much a part of that fabric. That, yeah. You know, part of that infrastructure that's supplying that. Absolutely. You yeah. never know who you're affecting. That's a big yeah, part of right. It. And then so you know, they, you know, young kids come through. You know, they want to uh, get into pro wrestling. You know, we'll we'll be here. We'll be the guys that we can show them like you know uh you know literally show them the ropes yeah <laughs> stuff like that uh but uh other than that you know other than keeping the local scene alive man uh you know always looking for opportunities you know ring of honor all that kind of sort of stuff yeah japan's been always been like a big uh dream of mine i guess but uh you know i guess one step at a time you know i see how it goes yeah. right yeah yeah I, you know i could see that definitely how do you feel lp same thing uh yeah it depends on the day i think <laughs> of whether I like wrestling that day or if I don't like it. Um, is it easier to feel that way when you're a champion? Like to have the options like that? Is it easier to feel like that? Like, like no, I don't champion? think so. I mean, uh, the championship is really just kind of like a prop to help the character behind it. Um, I mean, lately, like that belt hasn't really been taken or hadn't been really taken seriously. Like it was like, like a very mid card belt. It was all like red and flat and stuff. And, uh, when I won it after the Commodore, I kind of like brought it home and I was looking at it, I was like, man, I don't really like this belt. It's not, like, it doesn't make you feel anything. So I took it to my dad's and, uh, like, fucking dyed the belt black and, like, repolished all the, the silver and metal on it. And, like, took my dad's forklift and, like, bent it in the middle, like, super sketchy, like, <laughs> what? two by fours on each side. Yeah. And, like, I didn't tell uh, ECCW that I was doing that because I was like, I didn't know if I could do it for sure. And... Jesus and then when Christ. I did do it, I kind of like made it a big thing where I was like, guys, like I got a real big like surprise for you on Saturday. Like I haven't told anybody, and then I'm like I told everybody. I can't believe you haven't heard it yet. Really, just playing with them, and then uh, bust out this like really nice looking belt. So you know, it's a fun little rub. But back to the uh, to the wrestling thing. Uh, I actually tried to go to Ring of Honor with Kyle O'Reilly uh, a couple months after he left, and I got caught at the border uh, just as a suspected illegal immigrant, and kind of got like five year. Flag, kind of what? like the same thing that happened to Mike Bailey going to PWG. What year did that happen? What year? Oh man, I don't even know. Five years, is that still ongoing? It's probably f- three, four years ago now. Okay. It's when we, uh, we used to live together actually, and then like I, we went our separate ways so I could go to St. Louis and go train with Kyle and Davey Richards and Tony Casino and stuff. Mm. Yep. And I was like, I caught the bad border guard on the bad day, Damn. and like yeah. I wasn't doing anything illegal, like I couldn't prove to them in their eyes that I was ever going to come back to Canada. Even though I've lived here my whole life, I'm like, my whole work is like contract video editing and I had like four months off and I was like, dude, let me go train in St. Louis with a group of like worldwide athletes and then I'm going to come back in August, start my cartoon stuff up again and it's so, there's so just dumb. no way you could prove it to them. That's so dumb because the logic behind it is that they're keeping you from doing that because you'd be potentially taking a job, taking one of their jobs, right? No. Which yeah. is fucking stupid because it's like it's such a high specialized skill. Yeah, you know what I mean? Right. Like it's like I could see if you're like like a, a pipe fitter or some shit like yeah. that. You're going down there, you're gonna like yeah. concrete no, it's, or something like you yeah. know. Like I could, I could kind of even that's kind of stupid. It should be like an open labor market, like where like I like, wasn't even you know, going to go work and wrestle. Like I was going to go train with them and 
and yeah, see that, if I yeah. feel like I could I can make it. And you know, like I don't know what would happen if I went to Ring of Honor and got a dark match. Like who knows what could have happened. But uh, yeah, I just got that like didn't even get going. So I kind of got like bitter about that. Like there's nothing you could do. Like the U.S. is like you're knocking on our door. We don't have to let you in. Yeah, because like, I didn't have anything on my record. Like I've never yeah. had anything bad. I was just like, so it was just a purely arbitrary decision. Yeah, like they, they like I said, like, like to say like Kyle did the exact same thing and got through and like drove to St. Louis with his stuff, and then I went to do the exact same thing and like even got like paperwork. Like I like got sent back five times. I was detained thirteen hours in total for two days. Shit, what? Trying to uh, trying to go across. Yeah. Fuck. And then I was like, what do you like? What am I supposed to do now? Like. I like was homeless for like two weeks. I like live on my mom's couch because I gave up her place to like yeah, yeah no kidding to go you, do man. this in St. Louis yeah. and like, like they're like you can buy an airplane ticket with a return date and then I did and then you like bring it back to like well anybody can cancel your return flight and I was like <laughs> literally like what do you guys like I that guy two stores or two two chairs over just told me to do this and they're yeah. like if you keep trying we're gonna like ban you for life which like what? people that we know have like it's it's yeah. super sketchy like we used yeah. to have to. Uh, to lie that we're going shopping or to a to a baseball get, game get to go gas. wrestle yeah. in yeah. Oregon or Washington and I'm gonna buy a pallet of milk. Yeah, and like really? <laughs> yeah, it's like Count Chocolate. Yeah, it's dude, like, like it's, it's terrifying. Like, well, like, that is the fucked up. Is fucked. There's no way you guys would know this about me, or maybe I don't know. But uh, my whole family's in the industry and uh, like yeah, in entertainment, it's not wrestling. But um, my uh, all my brothers are in some phase of touring at some yeah. at some point or another. Like. Um, my my older brother's on tour right now, so my he there. I mean, we we talked about this a couple months ago, but he was on the road uh, with this group called Unleash the Archers from oh, yeah, Vancouver. Yeah, metal band, yeah. yeah, yeah, definitely. And uh, they were opening for a group called uh, I'm gonna fucking butcher this. They're from Brazil. It's called like Hi- Hyper- Hyperia or Hyperia or something like that. And uh, they're like just killer. They do like fucking fifty thousand. Uh, arenas like just nice. crazy crazy huge band but uh, they all met up in Toronto and the plan was to cross in Toronto from Toronto over and security detained all of them made them all go back on their own dollar so yeah. you know three that's like to Brazil that's like two three four G's a piece yeah. each plus they missed out tw- they had to cancel like 26 dates and Unleash the Archers had to pick up you know, they plus they lost out because they had to go back and pick up a bunch of stuff. I don't know all the numbers, so I don't want to. Yeah, I don't no, want to assume, but, like, but like, yeah, something like that. Yeah, it's hard. Or even you know, my youngest brother, he had a an opportunity. This is about eight or nine years ago. Um, a touring band reached out to him and said, "We love your performance uh, in your band. Can you send us some uh, some video?" Uh, playing some of our songs, we, we maybe think about bringing you on the road with us. And so he gets excited and he's like, fuck yeah, I want to do this. Yeah. He goes ahead and he sends them the videos, goes through all that work. They approve them. He's like, what the fuck? They're like, yeah, we're fuck. doing 52 dates in the States. Come on on yeah. with us. Just meet us in, you know, so-and-so city. He drives over and they fucking detain him for the same thing, like 12, 13, 14 hours, something like that, asking him all these questions. He's a young guy. He's yeah. like, what the fuck? He's like, I'm just going down there. They're like, do you have a permit? No, I well, no, I'm just going down there. I'm, you know, I'm not taking anyone else's job. It's a job just for me. Yeah. So like, you know, I, and they're like, nope, nope. And they, same thing, gave him a fucking, you know, a check mark or whatever the fuck on his yeah, it's passport. Yeah, right. Like every time I <laughs> go to the states, I get pulled in and interrogated. Like it's fucking awful. Couldn't could like barely get across the first time I tried to like, go to my grandpa's 80th birthday in Palm Springs or something. What? Like, my mom got pulled in with me, and I was like, listen, like I stamped my passport saying it had to be back at midnight. On the Monday, you're like, it's like, Jesus, dude, no kidding. Yeah, yeah. yeah. My my brother was sitting. My youngest brother was sitting in interrogation with. Uh, he's like, this guy next to me was a rapper, and I was like, what's your name? And he's like, Kanon. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and he's like, this is like before waving flag in the Olympics yeah, and all yeah, that yeah. shit. So he's like, yeah, you should check out my album, and he got it. <laughs> he got into Kanon from that. Just kind of funny, mm-hmm. but uh, yeah, man, that's fucked up that they yeah. have such like. There's no recourse to that, yeah. you know? There's no nothing to it. Yeah, like, one guy I was talking to when I was detained, he's like, you know, like, you should be allowed to go across because this one person said no, like, they'd have the power struggle to, like, overwrite and overturn, and, like, like you're really just, like, you're screwed. 
And like, and like, do you want to like go into a, a legal battle and like pay v, like ten thousand dollars for visas? Like, how much that is? I'm Emergency like, how much, visas. How much yeah. is it worth? Like, I'm already gonna be sleeping like behind a couch in St. Louis, like, mm -hmm. like eating behind, itchy band noodles. Yeah. For <laughs> behind behind the couch. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I'm paying three grand to like drive my ass there to like get my ass beat for a few weeks. Like, yeah. Like, shit, really? Nothing is underlined it more than what you just said there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that and behind the couch. I'm sleeping yeah. behind the couch. Yeah, I'm not even on the couch. Yeah. I'm yeah. a fucking yeah. little mat behind. <laughs> <laughs> when someone else has been there before me gets the couch. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah man. You know, this fucking... It's wrestling. I, I don't have any any perspective on it other than as a fan. So everything you guys are, are discussing right now, I, I can empathize only if I put it in like a music term, something like that, you know, in a production sense. Because you see a lot of that. It's like a lot of the tempering of expectations versus, you know, desires and expectations and just this constant back and forth and, and you're always dealing with this and then fucking reality mm. which is like always trying to weave and like just weasel its way into your fucking perception and i hate that shit yeah. you know yeah. it's yeah. awful yeah. and uh i i just i don't know i have a tremendous amount of respect for what you guys do because it's tough man it's fucking tough it's it's something it's something that everyone can appreciate on an athletic level period that's it and yeah. then when you add entertainment to it it's like that's where it gets pretty fucking subjective and people are like right. okay you know like this this i like this or i don't like right. this and whatever. but i love it man i love it from the fucking day one I, I would love to know um individually who are the wrestlers that you guys look to the poster worthy wrestlers that you're like holy fuck that, that was my guy growing up you know like who who's that who's that for you billy uh there's two guys actually maybe even three uh, first guy's got to be uh, the Nature Boy, Ric Flair. Yes. Yeah, he's just uh, obligatory. Woo. Let's yeah. go. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, he was just uh, to me like he he was one of my first like earliest memories of watching pro wrestling on TV. Like he had like, you know he had the crimson mask going and like I think it was like him and Dusty or something like that and like. Jeez. No, yeah. that'd be WCW. Oh, like NWA. NWA. This is yeah, NWA. NWA. Rick Flair? When like yeah. when they they when they didn't have any like barricades on like the in the crowd, and, like, you just like you know. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. Uh, and then um, I just remember watching that and just thinking like, holy fuck, like this is fucking some real shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like this is crazy. Like it's all like dark in the arena and all that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, and then you know he was he was he was great. Like I loved. He was like one of those guys that would go out and just, you know, play a character, you know what I mean? And, like, he would, he was one of those guys also, like, the the people would talk to, say about him, like, he could wrestle a broomstick, you know, make that look good, you know what I mean? Mm. So he was, he was one of those guys uh, that was, I guess, uh, pretty influential to me, I guess. And Respect I mean, as a talent, obviously, yeah. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. and, like, in terms of his charisma and all that kind of stuff, and... I, well, not sort of, but I really steal a lot of, a lot of his shit nowadays, you know? Just because, yeah. whatever. Man, it's like, no, why not? Yeah. Why yeah. not? And, uh, Fuck, it's a hell of a template. To, that's, yeah. I don't, I don't know why yeah. you wouldn't. Yeah, it's fucking right. And yeah. of course, uh, the Macho Man Randy Savage, because he was just like, he was just he was just out there, you know? Big Macho fan of him. Yeah. Big one. Yeah. Big fan. I always, I always thought, like, pro wrestling was just, you know, the most ridiculous thing ever. And I just want to be a part of that. And like, I'm just like, you know what? I can just be as ridiculous as these guys, you know? And uh, yeah, it was great. And recently I've been loving a little bit of Rick Rude, uh, the ravishing Rick Rude, cause uh, he's great. Yeah, as, as a bad guy, he was awesome. Like, cause he, he did a lot of, I guess, uh, hokey like stuff when you get punched and stuff a lot of spaghetti legs and all that kind of shit and like, like the recent beautiful billy sway and stuff it's, yeah, it's, you, you know what now you're piecing your thing together <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 so uh i just love that sort of stuff because it's, it's yeah. just it not only not only is it ridiculous but it's, to me it's entertaining and it's, it's funny and I'm like i like i like that sort of stuff. I love it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I like feel like your, your compatriot yeah. <laughs> there, uh, Mr. Baroni, has the same kind of yeah. It's feel funny. ever it's, since the robe and all of that has yeah. come like, you know, it's feeling funny. from him. Dude, Me, like, yeah. I, I wish I could pull a robe off. Like, <laughs> like, I like, yeah. can't do it, but yeah. thank God they can because someone always needs to have a, be a boa and a robe yeah. Definitely. coming That's down right. to the yeah. ring for sure. Yeah. It's the theatrics of it. I fucking yeah. love it, man. Yeah. It's amazing. Um, LP, yeah. I'm curious. And same question. I'm curious uh, as to who whom you look to. A little, a uh, little bit of a different side here. I was never really like allowed to watch wrestling as a kid, or like 
my I wasn't allowed to watch WCW. I only got to choose whether I could watch Raw or Nitro. So I always watched Raw, and I was always like a, a big WWE guy. So as like a Canadian kid, it was it was Bret Hart and Shawn Michaels. Yeah. And then uh, the more that I started getting into wrestling, it was a more harder to get behind Bret because I. I always feel like Bret Hart has like a Bret Hart match where there's not really a Shawn Michaels match, but Shawn Michaels can wrestle anybody in their style of match where that is what makes me gravitate towards Shawn better. Even though like I'm super Canadian, like love Bret Hart and like I watch Bret Hart matches every day too. Of course, yeah. I find like the Shawn Michaels can have a better match with everybody compared to Bret Hart has to have like a Bret Hart match with most people. Mm. So that's where I kind of like... That's an interesting... That's an interesting opinion. I I, to, I, I think that now that I'm like letting it sink in a bit, I, I, I definitely I think I feel like that too. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I always liked Owen a little bit better than Brett because he's a little different and mm-hmm. had, he's a little more uh, athletic and had the enziguries and backflips. And then yes, true. once you get into the business, you start watching Owen in Japan against Liger and stuff. You're like, man, like he was for sure better. Like, yeah. Brett's like Brett's just super solid and like always good. But Owen, I always thought was a little better than Brett, but. Once I started getting into wrestling more, I be, like I didn't really become like a big Mark Mark until ECW on TNN. So <laughs> it was like RVD and and Tajiri and stuff like yeah. just like the stunts RVD pulled and like like the kicks and like from yeah. Tajiri, I was like, dude, like this is like what I love. Like ECW is what like made me turn into like the Smart, I guess. Speaking of uh, Tajiri. He just uh, he was in the cruiserweight class. That's right. He was in the there. cruiserweight classic with Bollywood Boys, yeah. and uh, he's actually he just got re-upped. I think he's gonna. Yeah, stick I think around. he's gonna yeah. stick around. Which, which is he move awesome. fucking cool. Did he move to the next round there? I mean, I don't know if that's spoiler. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, but yeah, like it, I, I always loved. I always loved Tajiri. He always had that fucking green mist. The mist, oh, yeah, yeah, like the, the kicks and like the springboard elbow. Like I just look like his shiny pants. I was like Tajiri's badass. Yeah, dude. Definitely, so. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think it was definitely that like TNN era of like a BC ECW when it was the like I think the first match they ever showed just on the first episode was Rob Van Dam and Jerry Lynn, dude, like the full like, like yeah, forty five minute like that's, ripper right, and it was, yeah. oh, that's what I love. Like I would stay home Friday nights and not go out to watch ECW and and the Roller Jam and shit. I would leave on, but <laughs> would watch yeah. it. But, Roller uh, Jam, this fuck, dude. Like ECW and TNN is like what really started making me think about wrestling a lot. Do you have a yeah. favorite Roller Jam team? That would just... <laughs> Dude, I don't even remember. I just remember like they like pull out a ladder and put someone through a table or something on Roller Jam. Like, You're what like, the what fuck the fuck is this yeah. shit? <laughs> Living the gimmick. But, I mean, some of those guys were taking some pretty big bumps over the railings and stuff. I was like, on like, like Strong I style. used to rollerblade and like do inline skating and like I've taken falls off rails and stuff. So like those guys, man. <laughs> Yeah. Good on them. All the credit. There's no slam ball. It's like oh, slam ball. Slam is my favorite right. uh, slam ball. CNN thing right there. You know, trampoline <laughs> basketball. That's my shit right there. These, these niche fucking like <laughs> small era. <laughs> was it, was it Cyrus when he played the network character and just coming out to the ring and reading like, and stay tuned for Roller Jam yeah, and Slam yeah, yeah. Ball and like, oh, <laughs> like my favorite part of that yeah, broadcast every week. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. Well, um, I like that. I, I like those uh, those answers. Those are good answers. Yeah. It makes a lot more sense now, now that I'm sitting here across from Billy Swade. I'm like, okay, it makes, makes a lot more sense. Makes a I lot mean, more sense. Like, uh, like those guys, all right, you know, legendary guys, right? But, you know, me too, like, you know, there was, there was an era of wrestling where I was watching, like, guys like Dima Leko, you know, yeah. like these technicians and stuff like that. And, like, some guys out in Japan as well. Like, mm-hmm. uh, oh, man, like Tiger Mask. Like, Tiger Mask Dynamite Kid stuff. Like, mm-hmm. that was... That was like these guys gave me a DVD of this stuff, like when I first was breaking in. Yeah, that was Aaron Idol gave yeah. me a New Japan. Like, yeah. I, I've never seen Japanese wrestling yeah. until I started training in ECCW, and then uh, yeah. one of our trainers, Idol, like gave us like watch this, and yeah, like, <laughs> it literally like, says okay. watch this on like the on the DVD. And it's like Misawa Kawada like kicking the shit out of each other for an hour in front of like sixty thousand oh, people, like going crazy, and you're yeah. like shaking watching this stuff, I've never like experienced for the first time. Like oh my god. Like, this is, like, this is the wrestling I need to do. Like, yeah. fuck Doink the Clown and stuff. Like, <laughs> yeah. this shit, like, the chop battles. Yeah. And, like, oh, man. Yeah. Have you met Doink before? Isn't there even, like, five Doink the Clowns or something? Yeah. Uh, he, the, the main one was Matt Bourne, who yeah. used to be around ECCW a lot. But yeah. Uh, yeah. I think he was just before our time. Yeah. 
Yeah. So we never we never got to meet a lot. Like ECCW used to bring in Sabu and and Tommy Dreamer mm-hmm. and Steve Carino and all sorts of crazy dudes, but we kind of like it died down when we were getting into it. Hmm. That whole that whole like it was really big in like the late nineties, early two thousands, and we didn't get started until two thousand five. So. Yeah. We kind of missed wow, like yeah. the hot, the hot stuff for ECCW. Yeah, and then we've been a part of it when it's picked back up and stuff. So that's big time. Yeah, really cool. I, yeah, I agree with that. Um, I was just fuck. I just had something to say and I just, I just lost it. Uh-huh. Maybe, <laughs> maybe I'll just throw this one back up in the air. Hold on, fuck. <laughs> Don't know where it's going on. Uh, Jesus Christ. Oh, I know what I'm gonna say. Uh, LP, do you? Is this rumor true? Do you make your own theme music for the entrance? Your entrance uh, music? Is that true? Kind of. I don't actually like produce the music, but I'll edit it to how I want it to be and like video edit to the audio. Yeah, like I mean the, I, yeah. like I'll do that. Uh, I mean I just did one for like the last Commodore show. Do you do your own uh, entrance video? Uh like, did not you do all the, the video? Time, sometimes like sometimes like yeah. my uh, my real job is video editing I make cartoons for Netflix Monday to Friday so like that's my main gig and then uh, sometimes I'll translate that to wrestling I mean I used to do all the posters and videos and stuff but you can burn out of that pretty fast but yeah no kidding yeah the uh, the latest stuff was uh, is an excision uh, Shambhala mix that I was there live for that just, like it's just the most unreal energy you've ever experienced in your life yeah and, Took a couple of remixes of the Headbanger song that I like and kind of. I'm a fucking headbanger. Yeah, blended them together, yeah. so you kind of got your own theme. So you're not gonna find that that particular edit of that song anywhere, yeah. but for LP's thing. But uh, it's a combination of three songs. That's an exclusive as fuck. Yeah, man. <laughs> Dropping yeah. LP mixes. Fuck yeah. You know, I've been I've been thinking about it. I've got something sweet for this Commodore ballroom plan too. The LP LP. <laughs> That's what the fuck it should be. The LP LP. I'm, I'm a LP. <laughs> the LP LP. <laughs> yeah. Get that on wax. Yeah, I like that. I saw Excision uh, and Datsik probably about five years ago at the UBC. Yeah, I was. Uh, yeah, that was one Were of my first ups up shows too. Yeah, that was. I think Downlink opened for them Downlink. Too. It was like Fat Boy Slim or something like that, yeah, someone no, random no, like Crystal that. Method. <laughs> or Crystal Method. Yeah. So I was front row for Crystal Method, and Homeboy handed me his vitamin water or whatever, and I was like, hey, it's like nectar from the gods. And, like, yeah. and then I was, and then I, as I was drinking it, I was like, this is kind of weird that Crystal Method is like middling for fucking That's, these guys. Like yeah, they're yeah, legends, crazy. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And it's just like. Get busy, child. Yeah. <laughs> that kind of shit came on, and I was like, "Oh my god, what the fuck is yeah, going on?" Like yeah. it was just, it was strange in terms of uh, booking, but it, I loved it because I'm a huge Crystal Method fan. So, yeah. the Crystal Method fan, not Crystal Meth fan, you fucks out there <laughs> editing <laughs> audio. <Yeah. laughs> I heard MD likes uh, Crystal Meth. Is what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, he was, he was in the front row. Yeah, yeah. 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 front row. You ain't doing meth. Meth. Yeah. <laughs> It's pretty known rumor. Yeah, those are pretty easy yeah. to dispel. <laughs> yeah. Um, let me uh, let me ask this. There's a lot of, and I gotta I gotta look at these notes so I do this particularly. Yeah. I wanted to bring this up today because it's making fucking news everywhere. And by the time this comes out in a couple of days, uh, it might already be like more leaked. So I want to hear your initial re- reactions. Uh, I'm not sure how much you guys are aware of this, but have you guys heard of this like final deletion event thing happening? In TNA. Yeah, I saw some tweets about it today. Okay. So I'm a little... I was hoping maybe the collective knowledge of this room, we could kind of sort this out. Mike, have you, first of all, Savedra, have you heard anything about this? I'm not sure, no. Okay. So apparently, there's this like event happening this weekend. And it's a TNA event. And it's called the Final Deletion. <laughs> De- deletion. <laughs> so I don't know. It's, it's right on the heels of this whole weird Matt Hardy like long form video thing they did. You see this yeah, thing, I'm, I'm, brother Nero <laughs> shit he's been doing. Okay, yeah, 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 I've seen a couple of these. Yeah, yeah it was good. Anyway, so it's it's one of these. It's like it's so bad, it's good. It's like for that's that's the vibes that I'm getting in from what I'm reading is that they yeah. did this backyard match at their house with fireworks and shit, and oh like they God. filmed it, <laughs> and it's just the most absurd B movie wrestling match you've ever seen in your life. Which is strange because. Now apparently, and this isn't very common. They've <laughs> because they've already they've already filmed it, and they've already uh, recorded it and taped it. They've actually gone ahead and sent 
uh, review copies out to industry members. So apparently a, a good strong majority of like the executive staff at WWE have seen it and like approved it. So, which is weird, right? Because if it's that, if it's backyard wrestling and with fireworks and shit, that's kind of weird that, like, say, like Hunter and Stephanie would be like, "Oh, yeah, I mean, this is like the greatest thing." Yeah, just because approved. they're at the top, they're still carny, just like everyone else Carney in the fucking fuck. business. Like, uh, <laughs> Hilarious. Yeah, like, if, like they've seen the midget wedding. That's uh, it's an infamous story from around here. I don't know if you guys have heard about that, but uh, try to make this quick. But we had a referee named Beautiful. Bruce, who uh, the original beautiful one, okay, <laughs> who was a, a little midget referee to to put it fairly, and uh, T J Wilson, Tyson Kidd, mm-hmm. kind of did his thing and uh, got him hooked up with a, a lovely wrestling fan that kind of resembled a bridge troll. <laughs> Jesus Christ! And just everyone in the the wrestling community kind of took to it, and we had a little wedding for them, and it was filmed and. It was taken to the WWE and it's pretty infamous that uh, That's the whole they took it to the midget flag. troll wedding and everybody knows about it and uh, it's one of those urban legends. <laughs> yeah. So one of the, it's one of the greatest wrestling moments I have in my career yeah. is getting to be there and I was there too. You were there too. Yeah, having the there. KFC potluck yeah. and the chops on the floor and just I wore a tie to this. <laughs> I wore a tie to this. This is, great. This is yeah. the most surreal thing I've, uh, I've was, fucking heard. It was unreal. It's it's but it's the same the the same kind of genre of is it, weird shit that wrestlers love. Is it lost footage? Dude, I've, I've honestly never seen it. I've only <laughs> heard, I was there, we there and I've we never there. seen the footage. Yeah, but I think I've seen the footage. Yeah, but we everybody there. else has. Yeah. Yeah. So it's somewhere. And, you know, if I ever try to make it to WWE, that's the thing that I want to do. Is I want to see yeah. the, wedding, the midget yeah. wedding footage because yeah. I was there. Can we take a trip down to the vault? I just want to, like, <laughs> yeah. there's a certain there's video. There's a video that I don't know if you guys know about. Yeah. But, uh, I just want to see it. It should be well labeled. They're like, okay, yeah, no problem, yeah. Uh, apparently, Final Deletion airs tu- Tuesday, July 5th, so it'll be out uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, but this doesn't come out until the whatever Friday is, a couple days uh, from then. So, interesting. So, we'll know what the fuck it is by then. Yeah. But uh, I'm going to just walk from this. The idea that we all are intrigued. How about that? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah I'm intrigued. Uh, okay. I'm yeah. curious. I'm curious to see what it is. I'm not it, gonna I, promise I'm going to watch the whole thing. But I saw Lance Storm today. Oh, yeah? Good old Papa Lance. Lance Storm, who's not really known for his emotional, you know, commentary. Yeah, Apparently yeah. he was like, wow, exclamation, exclamation. Wow. Yeah. First exclamations of his career. That's, that's, that's a lot. He was, he was very, and, and I'm a huge <laughs> Lance Storm fan. So. I, uh, I trained with him uh, back in uh, 2007, I believe. I and it, it, it took us like a month to crack a smile out of him. Really? Yeah. Damn. But when you, when, when you do, like, he's, he's awesome. He's a, he's a great That's guy. really cool. Yeah. Yeah, you should ask him what he thinks. Because apparently he's seen it. He's seen yeah. Final Illusion, apparently. That's pretty funny. Uh, yeah, that's pretty sweet. Um, fuck, man. Yeah, I used, to, I used to love Lance Storm. Oh, Dude, he was in ECW. Like, he I still was love so him. good in, in yeah. that stuff. Same with uh, his WWE matches. Like, yeah. Super technical, s- awesome dude. Athletic. Best drop kick in, drop kick in the business, yeah. I think. Yeah, like, he's, he's got sure. awesome. yeah actually. Yeah, yeah, good call on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I've always been a... Uh, I was always a Benoit guy, and then yeah. had to default out of that. Obviously, yeah. I actually just started listening to the Benoit, uh, his Jericho's podcast with Nancy's sister or something. Oh no, yeah. yeah. Oh, they just released a podcast about the story about that. It's two hours, so I didn't get the way all the way through it. But Jericho's now my for like my favorite now that Benoit's slid out of the, yeah. <laughs> the picture. No, there. no, Benoit, I was a big Benoit fan too. It's like, weird like, though, You watch right? all his matches, like he's just so good. Like, Do you yeah. think it's possible to separate his work career from his his obviously infamous crime at yeah. the end of his life? Do you think it's possible to yeah. do that? Yeah, some people get weird about they it, look right? too into it and they get weird about it, like... When, when I'm watching Benoit wrestle someone in 98 or whatever, like, I'm not thinking whatever crazy shit happened in his head to make him decide that killing his family and himself was the best idea. Or like, yeah. I don't know the story behind that, but, like, obviously something went wrong, and then maybe it was years of steroids or chair shots to the head or... Maybe. Maybe diving headbutts from the top rope. Yeah, for like, you know, like, everyone, like... 
Who knows? Who knows? That's all speculation. Serial killers right. do that stuff. Yeah, and, true. Uh, it, it's obviously there's some, there something there, uh, and uh, obviously, and again, I, don't, I as, as well don't know enough about it to like. I mean, the pro like wrestler's it. one guy, and the <clears throat> guy yeah. who lives his day to day outside of the business is the other. Like, it's right. not They're not the same. I, I right? see them not like promoting his stuff as acceptable, but. I thought it was a little weird when they try to like erase him from history. That, and, yeah, like, I don't like. Yeah. When they're like yeah. the WrestleMania twenty triple threat was just sh- Triple H lost his title and like like what like yeah it's yeah. just Triple H versus Shawn Michaels just versus say this is what happened man like, question mark yeah <laughs> like people trying to like change history and stuff. Yeah. Like, I don't like mm-hmm. that because want... okay like uh, somewhat not it's kind of like fading in topic but the. Uh, uh, the same argument can be applied to someone like, say, Bill, Bill Cosby, mm-hmm. where you're, you're looking at people that are trying to separate his career versus what he's done, uh, okay, allegedly, right. uh, over the career, which is not even allegedly so much anymore. Um, it's obviously, yeah. Like, <laughs> like, but what he did. I'm trying to, like, <laughs> trying to say this in a way that, like, is uh, respectful of the situation. But um, the, the, isn't it weird, though, that we can be like, yeah, you can separate Benoit's work ethic and career from the guy who murdered his family. But then we, we turn around and we're just like, I don't know if I could do the same for Bill Cosby. Cause like, uh, isn't that weird? Yeah, That's kind yeah, of you a, know, it is, now that you think about it, it is a little weird. But it's kind of strange. I think when you look back at Bill Cosby's career, you know, he's been doing this for so long that it makes it a little more uncomfortable. Is it more like of a, like a vindictive pattern maybe? Is that why? Like it seems more sinister because it's been so long going rather than like a snap emotional moment with Benoit. I mean, I've never even been the biggest Bill Cosby fan in the first place, so... That's... Uh, like, yeah. when when I first saw, uh, I think it was Hannibal Buress call him a rapist or something on, like, a stand-up thing, I thought that was super funny. But, uh, yeah, I think it, it, now that you look back at Bill Cosby's career, knowing that he's been drugging girls, the majority of it, it's kind of... It's like Michael Jackson and stuff. Same thing, It's like yeah. he's died, but, like, there's a lot of... A lot of stuff out there that he does some real fucked up shit to kids and they had us just very recently funny you bring that up michael jackson let me look this let me get the exact date on this but uh like a, a week or two ago yeah it'd be something about like that? animal porn and yeah. like bestiality, which is sweet by they the had way, but, like, they had sealed yeah, they documents way, way deeper <laughs> yeah from like 2003 or something they had sealed documents from the initial search and they found a tremendous amount of bestiality porn and oh, and uh, uh aggressive Young male BDSM wow. like gore stuff. Gore, well. yeah. Wow. Yeah, 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 very stuff that would have definitely fucked up the popular opinion going into Man. his like. I, I, just, he died I, just, in I just think getting back though, like with with Bill Cosby. Bill Cosby wasn't getting like boxed in the head with chairs and like flying yeah. off of stuff. And, like, <laughs> no, he didn't have concussions when he was yeah. dropping. Yeah, there's not really. On people, you don't really right? have like a good reason why <laughs> That's you should true. be doing that. Yeah. I mean, you're Bill Cosby. That's you shouldn't point. get them to say yeah. yes, please. That's good Bill. Point. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's a good point. Um, yeah, he just kind of was inherently evil, whereas, like, it seems like Benoit kind of just snapped one day. Yeah. Just fucked up. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. Anyway, Benoit used to be my favorite wrestler. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I love that Benoit DVD. I didn't have many yeah. uh, wrestling DVDs, but the Benoit DVD was one that I went yeah. back to quite a bit. Yeah. Just his documentary, like, working hard, like... Yeah. His matches, like, just throughout his whole career. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. fucking good, man. Yeah. I'd love to wrestle Benoit. Like, knowing, like, I don't think I could do this every night, but uh, yeah. you want to have a good good one on pay-per-view or something, let's, yeah. let's tear it up. Because I know you're going to be there for everything, and you're good for it, so. Yeah, exactly. And, and you know what? That Earlier, LP said that, uh, you know, you obviously we're all marks for Canadian wrestlers, like, kind of like Bret Hart and things like that. But, you know, we brought up Lance Storm earlier. I've, I realize like all my favorite, like my top five are all like Canadian wrestlers. I just feel like yeah. there's more of a, I don't know. There's something in the water up here. Yeah. Like, uh, it's not a nationalism thing. It's like an actual <laughs> recognize, like you can recognize the talent. It's just different. Yeah. I don't know what it is. It's just like you can see uh, Japanese talent. It's just yeah. different talent. Like they're just, it's just like they, the prestige that comes with that is just a different type. It's not better. It's not worse. It's just, different right. Right. that's why i like it yeah i don't know if that makes sense no no yeah, no, yeah. totally yeah, yeah yeah that kind of stuff fuck it who's your favorite wrestler there's Savedra. what currently or like of all time currently currently 
Uh, probably like Kenny Omega, like the Young Bucks and oh, stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. Like, Kenny Omega, like, Canadian. Yeah, I was Canadian. waiting for him to say Steen yeah. or Generico, like Canadian, yeah. like... All these guys are right, Canadian, yeah. like killing it. Yeah, yeah, coming up. Which yeah. gives us hope, and then like they're taking all the visas away from us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just save some, save some of those for us, right? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. yeah, there's five visas available. Yeah. <laughs> God, man. yeah. Fuck, man. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I have uh, I have high hopes for the future. I think that uh, things are going to be fucking beautiful. I think that uh, the foundation being laid in ECCW right now is going to set the stage for big, big, big things to come. I am uh, very, very, very optimistic about that. Um, and I'm very optimistic about how quickly the Commodore is going to sell out for Ballroom Brawl. Now, which day particularly is this go down? I'm not even going to look at notes. I'm not even going to look at notes. July 16th. Yeah. Next, next weekend. Or not th- not this weekend, but two, weekends two weeks. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Two oh, weeks, yeah. which means I got to get that merch done. I got to get that <laughs> entrance video finalized. Fuck. Got to make sure my gear is not stinky. I'm going to start hitting the gym. Gonna, yep. Yeah, start. Gonna get, <laughs> might have to start taking some protein shakes and then fucking die. <laughs> Yes, start hitting, start protein, yeah. start hitting the gym. Um, Probably get a couple layers in my hair. Yeah, that. exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Billy, how can people follow you online? Uh, online, there's the beautiful a, Billy Suede. Yeah, there's that's, you know what? There's a beautiful Billy Suede uh, Facebook page on there. Uh, I don't know the address. I think it's uh, Real Ill Bill Suede, I think, or Ill Bill Suede. I, I don't know. Anyways, just type in. <laughs> Pro over here. I'm so I'm the worst at it. I'm the worst yeah. at it. Uh, beautiful Billy Suede uh, Facebook page. Yeah, just do that and hit that little uh, magnifying glass or whatever. Sweet. Yeah, you'd be good. Yeah, yeah. That that sounds uniform, and we'll definitely make sure yeah. that's all listed in the details. <laughs> oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Just right, yeah. Verbatim. Yeah. I'll be like, Verbatim, Billy yeah. says this. <laughs> yeah. uh, El Fantasmo. How the fuck can people follow you if they want to follow you online? Well, I don't know why they would, but... Uh, <laughs> oh, see, this is... <laughs> stealing his catchphrase. Yeah. <laughs> no one wants to follow you either? You have to go to wrestler court here. <laughs> yeah. Fucking, <laughs> he's like, I'll have you know I've been saying that for years. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, it's... LP Wrestling is the Twitter, and uh, I just linked it to the Facebook, but it doesn't even work half the time. Like, Probably because it's it's probably linked, because I have the same situation. It's probably only linked one way and not the other. It's well, no, like, like, I have it set up so my tweets just get copy and paste it to my Facebook. Right. And then which is weird, because I have more people on Facebook than I do Twitter. And, like, I restarted. Like, I just stopped using Twitter for a couple of years, and then... Uh, I got a lot of pressure to get back into yeah. it and even had like ghost tweeters <clears throat> for me. It was pretty sweet. Ghost tweeters. And then they're like yeah. kind of saying a couple of things. Yeah. I was like, oh, yeah. fuck. Yeah. Like, I would not say this. I'd rather just like talk <laughs> some shit and own up for it rather than all these like hokey pokey things. Like, Why'd you put three exclamations in there? <laughs> yeah. I was like, stop saying nice excited. things about <laughs> yeah. people. Like, yeah. this is not LP. Don't put uh, me over in private. Put me over in public. Yeah, yeah. right. <laughs> give a shit if you think I'm good. Tell everyone else to make them believe it. <laughs> I got shirts to sell. <laughs> Fuck hilarious. Hey, charity is a donate too. No, uh, yeah. yeah. So LP wrestling. Well, some white other jabroni took the real LP. God damn. Stupid <laughs> white dudes with the El Phantasma names. What? That was uh, the rapper with uh, Rubber oh. Jewels or something. Oh, yeah, LP. Oh, that LP. From Definitive Jux. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, he's been around for a minute, though. But he's, he's, not, he's not the, the real LP. You're the real LP. I'm throwing is, it out there right now. He is the real, LP. the real LP. That's right. Yeah, that's right. See, definitive. And people can look at this video and be like, I think this is where it was definitive. Yeah. 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 <laughs> they all came to agree. It's like, he is yes. the real LP. Can you hear that? It's consensus. I love it. Fucking rights. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, Mr. Saavedra, how can people follow you online if they want to do so? Uh, you can follow me at the Saavedra on Twitter and Michael A. Saavedra on Instagram. And uh, CMart, you know, just... Hoping there's still uh, still still some heat to this fucking gimmick you got over there. Um, it's gonna, not worth it. It's not a thing. It's not not worth it. Okay. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> if you want to follow me, you can follow me. Uh, my name's MD. You can follow me on online MD underscore Boomsday. That's on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, wherever the fuck you go. I am there. And uh, please make sure you subscribe 
and follow the podcast because that's why we're, we're fucking here. That's why we're here. Yeah. Intergalacticinterviews.com. You can go and find us on uh, Facebook and Instagram. And, YouTube. Uh, I found you on YouTube. And YouTube. Yes, YouTube. I fucking throw the YouTube links in there. Yeah, man. YouTube. That's where I watched it. Yeah. Oh, God damn. Yeah, that was a good one, too. That was I mean, a good one like to watch. skipped through. Yeah. In fast forward. <laughs> in, 30, <laughs> in 30 seconds. I caught a couple pieces. Yeah, that's... No, you're like, I occasionally briefly turn Same with wrestling. On. I'll skip the heat. I'll watch the opening spot. Then I'll yeah. skip the rest. Just maybe go to the double down. And then yeah. get rid of the beginning of the fall season. Like, that you know. is the beauty of the world we live in right now. Because you can choose. Whereas, like, before you used to have to fucking sit there and take it. <laughs> nope. Yeah. No longer, they said. Yeah. Technology has outweighed the demand. Yeah. Okay. That being said... Uh, you guys are fucking awesome. Yeah. We're really, really grateful thanks you guys came down back. and did oh, the thank show. Thank you guys for having us. Yes. Yeah, Absolutely. Having you guys are always welcome. Friends yeah. of the show. Anytime you guys awesome. want to come back, more cool. than welcome. And uh, make sure you go and get your tickets right now for Ballroom Brawl at Commodore. It's uh, going to be amazing. ECCW. I think you can get tickets on Ticketmaster. Ticketmaster, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Don't forget, Dub P Dub the week after at the Wise yep. Hall. <gasps> There's two, two fucking stacked, uh, shows, and, uh, stacked uh, shows, and yeah. the more the more competition for local wrestling, the better. Absolutely. Yeah. There's uh, people can try and say it's not good, but uh, WWF, WCW made each other better. I totally agree. And, uh, two absolutely. 19 plus events. How can you? Come on. How can you? The go best wrong. way you're going to spend your Saturday. I dare you to have best a drink. Gonna spend your I dare you to have a drink and try not to have a good time. Yeah, I dare exactly. you. Yeah. It's the you, fucking best time. You get like an hour yeah. before the uh, like the doors open and there's like an hour between like the doors and bell time. So that's plenty. Plenty of time. time Fuck yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Okay, guys. Thank you very much for coming down. We love you guys. Thanks for coming down. Thank you. We'll see you yes. soon. Yeah. But you got too sweet. Too sweet. <laughs> nice. That's your glue by.